Welcome to the Indigo League, where trainers grow and bond with their Pokemon to become the very best and prove themselves unbeatable. We are unbeatable, we'll train until we meet our goal. The stakes are high, no we won't fall, because we are unbeatable. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, and thank you all for joining us on today's one shot of unbeatable. Uh, you might notice by the color of the screen and the title of the episode that we're doing something a little bit different today. We are doing our first little mini campaign uh, into the world of Unbeatable and the regions around it. So we actually have some fun and exciting new players as well as an old one coming back uh, to play through. You're so old. You're so old uh, to play through uh, a little adventure of ours. So uh, Denkles, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Dinkles, or Matt. Uh, I normally play Seth, uh, but you can find me on the internet at Dinkles. I make music and songs and things like that. Uh, I, I speak exactly like this normally and naturally in all other conversations. Um, that is me. You know me, I think. I hope. I pray. And then our first guest of the uh, of the evening. Hi there, beautiful, wonderful people. How's it all been? Thank you so much for coming along. Uh, my name is Matt. I'll catch a on all things. I stream sometimes, but it's a bit of a, a mishmash of when I'm uh, of when I'm doing that. Uh, but go check on my Twitter, which is uh, Matthew Eckberg. I also primarily GM the Atomless, which is a Starfinder sci-fi uh, like opera. God, that sounds so pretentious to say. A campaign where we have the actual plays on the Atomless YouTube, and then also I take the lives and I edit music and pew pews and i take out a lot of the mechanics talk so it's essentially just like an audiobook that is on all of your favorite pod pastors <laughs> yep. and then our final player for the evening hello everybody <laughs> My name is Alec. My pronouns are he, him. You can find me all places on the internet at Community M. Uh, I am the archivist for Known Realms to Lesh, which is a fifth edition D&D campaign set in my homebrew world of Ayosha. We have an amazing cast over there. I do other stuff on the interwebs. You can see me playing games with, with amazing people like these. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Um, go check out The Atomless. It's the best Starfinder podcast. It, it's there. really good. I really like it. The Atomless. Huge inspiration for Unbeatable in terms of our post-production and how we do things. So we love The Atomless around here. Uh, and all these Don't people to it. I need are, to are really talented <laughs> players, but also really chaotic people. So if things are a little different tone than our normal games, good. That's what I'm going for. Um, Welcome to the today, Unbeatable one-shot, bitch. Yeah, it's a, it's a one-shot. <laughs> so I got this gig on a bet. <laughs> Aaron was like, hey, pal, do you want to do this thing for me at 3 a.m.? I said, yes, but I have to be on Unbeatable. Can, yeah, I, say, can exactly I say what, what you messaged? Can I say what you messaged me, Aaron? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Hey, Alex, someone dropped out. You mind? <laughs> <laughs> I told Aaron I for any like, one shots, I want to be his Lou Wilson, which means I'm in everything. I get yeah, to be in yes. anything and yeah. everything. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic. <laughs> Yeah, so these three, I'm going to start it out with, the with I'm going to get away any pretense of professionalism. <laughs> these three motherfuckers are the most chaotic people I know. And uh, the way this is going to work is I have a one oh. shot prepared for today. We have no no idea how long it's going to go. Uh, ideally, less than like five hours. We've been here for three uh, days. Um, but uh, we're going to record it. We're going to play through it. And then it'll show up uh, as a number of episodes, whether that be two or four or five episodes. Not three, though. Definitely not three. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get into today's game. We are actually going to begin in a region that we've not yet seen in the main story of Unbeatable, the quiet and rocky town of Lavender. Uh, Lavender Town is this ghostly foggy small town in the northeastern corner of the Kanto region that is primarily known for the Pokemon Tower, a spooky and mysterious cemetery where Pokemon from all over are brought to be remembered, to be entombed, and ultimately to be loved and respected. Um, where we begin our journey today uh, is with a young trainer walking through the front gates of Lavender Town, entering this sort of rocky canyon surrounded on all sides by these large stone walls um there is a spattering of buildings uh across maybe the population of this place is maybe a few hundred people it is not a large town um 
But as we get into this, uh, Alec, will you please describe yourself and your character? Oh, well, Alec is a six foot six tall man. <laughs> Sorry, no, I apologize. Um, so I am playing Clover, pronouns he, they, who is a an excitable young ace trainer. <clears throat> Clover stands at about five foot six and is a bit on the more chunky side. He is a lover of snacks and studying and a huge lover of Pokemon, especially Iggy, his very rambunctious Jolteon standing next to him. Uh, Iggy, or, or Clover, wears uh, just kind of basic green clothes, and uh, his hair is this messy mop of brown, and he just kind of bats out of his face when there are too many Pidgeys in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and there are, as as you look up the kind of overcast day, um, you do see the fluttering of the, the brown and gray wings of, of Pidgey heading over the top. Um, but as you kind of... <laughs> As you look around, you feel Iggy's uh, very, like, wispy, uh, sharply spiked uh, fur rub up against your leg. Uh, as your Jolteon looks up, and he goes, Jolteon. Also starting to suspiciously look at the different Pidgey in the air. Hey, don't you worry about it. We have the type advantage. Jolte, Jolteon. Jolteon. And little sparks across the, the top of the fur. That's my guy. <laughs> As you look down, <laughs> you just saw you make it. Yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> we have the type advantage. We have the type advantage. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. As you look around the town, though, still suspiciously eyeing the the little flapping bird Pokemon in the air, um, you do see on the opposite side of town from where you have entered, there is the large stone spiraling tower of the Pokemon Tower. Um, it's outside is this purple black slated stone. Um, there's a large stone archway leading onto its first floor and you can see that there are, um, bits of, uh, modern amenities attached to this tower. You can see along the side there are, though not in use now because of the cloudy day, solar panels attached to the side of it. At the very top, there's a large metal antenna, um, sticking out of the, the top weather vane of the, the tower itself. Um, but you know, ultimately, based off of the ad that you had received from the Ace Trainers, that that is your goal. All right. Iggy, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. We don't know what lies ahead of us, but at least we're in it together. Just sort of take a step forward, trip, and then... <clears throat> All right. Onward. Starts marching toward the tower with purpose. Uh, as he, he starts marching, um, you do get, like, being, being the, the kind of unique individual, uh, that Clover is, as you, as you start to walk around town, you do get the occasional glance from the townspeople who, um, this town invites a certain type of person to live in a sleepy backwater, definitely ghost-ridden, like, provably ghost-ridden town. Yeah. Um... And as you get kind of glances, none of them are in any way uninviting or mean, but curious almost. You see like mostly elderly folk uh, looking about. Um, some give you a few waves as you as you walk by. Um, no problem. But it's a very short jaunt to the front of the Pokemon Tower, where now standing at its base, it is very striking to you as you look at it in front of you. Um, from its floor, you cannot see the top section of the tower, so it just seems to kind of spiral into the sky um but as you walk up there are a set of stone steps that will bring you to the front of the tower where you can actually see from here um that there is this stone archway um that goes over the two large wooden doors and on it there is an inscription if you want to take a second to read that absolutely okay um on the inscription in like this beautiful uh, scripted cursive there is Become the spirits of Pokemon, and may their souls rest easy. Big ups. <laughs> um, Jolteon, you hear uh, at your legs below you. Jolteon. Mimics your little your little look. Um and Jolteon kind of scampers up the steps and stands uh, at the front of the two doors, which are currently closed. 
yeah, he will he will just sort of actually look at it with a bit of reverence and and just mm-hmm. sort of walk up and and knock uh, heartily at the door. Um, as you begin to knock, we're going to go ahead and switch perspectives. Um, Mr. Fuji Jr., will you please uh, describe yourself as you sit at the desk uh, on the first floor of the Pokemon Tower? Of course. I'm Mr. Fuji Jr. <laughs> um, I am a, uh, a kind-looking old man who has very <gasps> bushy eyebrows. Um, it looks like there was a mustache and a beard, but he just can't decide if he wants to keep that or not. Um, he has a, a large wooden cane staff with him that has a, it looks as if he broke it off a tree and there was a knot that kind of spun around. He's like, this is a, this is a good handle. Uh, so he kept it, uh, but you'll see he can uh, sometimes turn that and there's a little broom that pops out from the bottom. It's, uh, it's a little oh. trick broom I made up for myself. It's very fun, um, oh but uh, a lot of, lot of paperwork uh, I'm doing on my table. Uh, I have a nice little uh, beige cream jacket. Looks like I could wear an overcoat, but I don't like it when it's uh, too hot. Uh, so I, I decided to just leave that on the chair uh, for the most part. But I'm really busy with paperwork. There's so much to do. Um, Mr. Fuji, as you uh, sit at the L-shaped desk uh, that, that you keep all of your files and all of your organizational tools L's at. L's for learning, yes. L is for learning. Uh, and you take huge L's every day. Um, not every day, but every day, I, I every day. Um, but as you sit on your half of the L-shaped desk, um, off to the side next to you, because the two of you, who I will get to the other person who's sitting at the desk at the moment, are currently alone in the Pokemon Tower as you've had it closed for the last several days due to the um, goings on within the tower. But on the other half of the desk, uh, if your assistant would like to describe themselves, uh, please go for it, Grail. Um, Asha this like well-worn person in um a- around late 20s early 30s they look slightly older than their sprightliness uh, gives off they excitedly talk at this huge ball of sludge this like rainbow colored sludge as they um almost like a uh almost like like a a like scam magician on street corners is like moving these three bottles in front of them um they them yeah good to know okay so look at me one of these the poison the one is an I need you to pick one for you to drink and for one for me to drink. And then the third oh, one, no. the third one's just water. The third one doesn't matter. But... Oh, <laughs> By the way, the muck is called Troubadour. I thought of that as Alec <laughs> was giving the description of his character. <laughs> uh, Troubadour just has that, like... In honor. Continued, like non-understanding look of blankness. <laughs> okay. And the, the undulating, like, rainbow ball of slime that is your Alolan muck, like, starts to lean forward, mm. and it's going to go for the leftmost uh, uh, vial, like the leftmost bottle. Uh, okay, okay. It goes for the middle vial. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> and you see, instead of, like, the large, slimy mouth that is open... It just sort of takes its arm and the vial <laughs> disappears into its body because it's an undulating mass of ooze. It doesn't need to yeah. put things in its mouth to eat them. <laughs> uh, Asha Talk. waits. Which one did you get? And it, it like takes the glass and just like. <laughs> you take that to mean water. Damn it. Okay. Which one am I going to have? And points at the leftmost, uh, leftmost little beaker. Picks it up, drinks it like no question. Knows that one of these is poison. Just drinks it straight. All right, I'm gonna roll for which one this is. You want to call it an air? Odds or evens? Uh, odds. Never going. Ooh. You immediately feel the burn of poisonous acid beginning to leak its way down your throat as you slam back that little vial. <laughs> it's not enough to like 
permanently harm you, but you definitely immediately <laughs> take a minor wound. Uh, um, take a minor wound, immediately yeah. takes the antidote, turns around to a large blackboard behind them that has Troubadour and Asher in like a score font, and then puts, and it has like <laughs> Troubadour with like cross, 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 slash, cross, 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 slash, cross, 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 slash, <laughs> and then Asher one. <laughs> <laughs> Asher would just put another one on Troubadours. You're really good at that. You're really good. I can never seem to get you. I can't believe we've only been playing this for one day. <laughs> um, and as you are performing that experiment, um, Mr. Fuji, you are obviously sharing a workspace with this young person. Um, and uh, you can see this, this game that has been going on for the last several hours. Um with your small like bowl of petcha berries off to the side that you occasionally take a small snack out of. I really thought you'd win that one. So did I, but this guy's just so smart. I can't seem to get him get on top of him. They're just always there's just always one Look step ahead of me this beautiful guy. This is true. This is true. Where is Mr. Bones? Um I'm looking for my Pokémon. Uh as you you kind of uh mentioned where is Mr. Bones? Um, you, where is Mr. Bones? I'm going to roll for where Mr. Bones is at. <laughs> um, as you, you look around for your Pokemon, you see, um, sticking off the side of one of the couches with, uh, his, his large skulled head lazily kind of flopped over the side is the most elderly Marowak that you, uh, have ever met, uh, is just kind of off to the side and you hear Marrow from one of the couches, ah. like, echoing back to you. There you are. Okay. How, how long have you been there for? Yeah, you, we were working on something. You left to go get me water and then never came back. Marowak. Oh, that's why and the like... water was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this uh, the one this cup is? <laughs> yeah, and Marowak <laughs> points at the one that was being used for the experiment. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's it's fine. I'll just run over to the tap. I'll take the one that had the poison in and not know. Come down. Fill it um, up and just swing. Immediately, like, the poison starts to, like, react with the water, and it becomes, like, a chalky green. <laughs> Goes down smooth. If you uh, look as back to Asher, Asher is, like, hiding behind Troubadour, like, eyes super <laughs> wide, like, dinner plates, really excited to see what would happen if you were to drink this. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you knock it back, uh, go ahead and roll me a fortitude check. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. What is that die? Okay, cool. Uh, da, da, da. You would think that's a seven, but it's a one. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be uh, three in total. Three. A total of three. I was looking for a five. So as you as you kind of take it, it is one of the stankiest, most bitter sour candy tastes you've ever had. Uh, it's not going to deal damage to you, but it's definitely that thing of like you realize about a half a drink in that like this is not good. You call the plumber. The tap's a bit broken, I think. Huh. That's not uh, good. As you do that, um, you, uh, Asher, as this like conversation is happening, you turn and it's almost like teleported behind you at this point. There is a like three and a half foot tall Marowak, this elderly creature, Miss Dr. Bones, uh, who just looks at you suspiciously, looks at that cup and takes this large bone and just goes bonk on your head. <laughs> okay. All right. I get it. Last time. I promise. Last time. Mero. Uh and like looks down at uh at Troubadour and as it looks down, the muck just goes Murk, and does the most slime equivalent to a shrug you've ever seen. But it's at that at that moment that you hear dunk 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 uh on the front doors of the Pokemon Tower, which is closed today. Thought the sign said closed. Do people not know how to read? <laughs> Looks, start walking Asher over looks towards nervously, the door. yeah. Looks nervously at, 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 at Mount Fuji Jr., who deals with all of the people. Asher doesn't do that. Mount Fuji Jr.? Oh. Mount, Mount Fuji Jr.? Mount yeah, Fuji you know Mount Jr. Fuji Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you expecting anyone? Did you order food or something? No, 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 no. Not me. <laughs> Did oh, you DoorDash? <laughs> <laughs> Did you Deli Bird? <laughs> 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 Open the door. Oh, I'm open the with a smile on our face. <laughs> open the door and say, "We didn't order any food. Why are you? Oh, hello. Why? Hello. Did you read the sign? I've heard the call and I've heeded it. 
What? What call? What? I've heard. <laughs> I've heard that there have been strange happenings here at the at the tower in Lavender City, and I I w- close the door a little bit and lean back. Have you told might... anyone? <laughs> what, what's been happening here? I I mean I've I've talked about it on all the forums, but I don't think this is person. <laughs> Who's forum? What? Who are you? Why? What is a forum? <laughs> On P Chan, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, red slash blue it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, this, I think they know about stuffs hap. Okay, oh, what? What do you want? <laughs> Open the door again. Iggy and I have come to help. I'm an ace trainer. Oh, yes. is that a Jolteon? Oh, you That's, should have yes. said that. I'll lean this, down this, and look at the Jolteon and plot some th- treats. This it's is doing- this is my partner Iggy. Yeah, as you pull out some treats, uh, the Jolteon's doing, like, the equivalent of, like, the Riz face, like the... <laughs> as you, as yeah, it yeah. takes the treats. A unique type of Jolteon, or what, um... Uh, Jolteon. How did he's... you evolve it with your stone? Um, I think he's still in the very confident teenage phase of his evolution, but... Mm, I see. Y- you know okay. what? Hmm. He's, he's great in a pinch, and he's a good friend to me. Hey, Jolteon. Well, at the end of the day, all you need. Um, yeah. uh, come, come in, come in. Um, you can meet my uh, friend. Of course, this is Asher. Uh, your name? Um, I'm I, I'm Clover, by the way. Hiding, uh, Asher, hiding behind Asher, Troubadour it's... again. <laughs> Troubadour, <laughs> can you move, please? Is that um, an Alolan muck? Uh, immediately, Asher stands muck. very proudly. Yes, <laughs> this is this is my Alolan uh, muck. This is Troubadour. Um, Troubadour. Very rare about these parts. They're very smart. They're very cute and so handsome. Look at this. I've been, I've been, I've been practicing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, pal. You're great. (laughs) Great, great. Um, uh, so you, you, you read about something blue on the uh, forum web? Yes. Exactly. What and, exactly and did it say? What did you write, Asher? Well, you know, because I was doing my findings, I, I have my my blog about uh, all of the um, ghost types and, and, and whatnot and, and all the things. And, you know, you know how it is, how, like, poison affects the ghosts and if they're, like, angry after death and all this stuff. Um, uh, yes, yes. But then I was like, there's, 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 you know... We have weird things going on, and then it's kind of stopped, so I just made a small post about, Hey gang, it's gonna be a little late, because things are getting stolen, the ghosts are all riled up, and they don't like experiments. So, so you know, just kind of what we know. You know. Okay, alright, I'm sure they'll never come aside. You were the only person that read it, though, right, uh, Clover? Probably. Um, uh, my... Oldest friend on the the chat rooms hasn't logged in in about six months, and regardless, um, as you like Asher, as you like glance down at your laptop, which has the post currently up, there's exactly one upvote on the entire post, so <laughs> it's probably exactly the only person who's seen it. <laughs> we have an up to Troubadour. You have an <laughs> upvote, which normally your blogs. Do not get an upvote. This one's my favorite doing thing numbers. Is that, my favorite <laughs> thing is that they are the worst employee ever. They blog daily about their job. <laughs> yeah. But they're top secret information. Someone else died today. Send post. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, okay. Um, yes, there are uh, things have been being taken here recently, and we're trying to get to the bottom of it. We don't know what specifically would call. Well, we have an idea of what would be stealing things specifically, but the why is what we're still trying to find out. Um, I don't. What was our plan for today? I lost track after I didn't get my water right away. Marowak, and you see ah, that yes. Doctor Bones is over by your calendar and hits it with the stick or with the bone, like that it uses as like a like a hitting stick. It's a little bonk stick, and it hits the calendar. Uh, and on the calendar, it it doesn't have any entrances. You just forgot to write anything on the calendar. It's totally blank for the day. <laughs> right. Um. Hmm. 
Uh, Asher, what were we going to do today? I, uh... Well... We had something. Um, well, we have... We've, we've, we've spoken to uh, uh, a lot of the ghost types upstairs, and they uh, don't really want, you know, they know that it's not us that's stealing things, but they're getting very angry, and we wanted to try and figure out, like, you know, what, what, like, who is taking the things? They're very sentimental items, most of them are anyway, as far as we're aware, we're going to check if there's anything new that's been stolen. Um, which I doubt, because I only slept for a couple of hours last night, so I doubt that they had a chance to sneak in, so maybe the person is already in the building, and if they're not in the building, then maybe they came in through the window, so then we got to get the window in the bathroom fixed, and... Yeah, I think that's it. All right, it's patrol day then. Um, uh, do you have walking shoes on, Clover? We're going to be doing some walking. Um, yes. Yes. I'm ready. If there All are right. brigands here that are... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm not familiar with that Pokemon, and I'm pretty obsessive <laughs> about Pokemon. If there are dirty little thieves that are in this tower, we're gonna find them. Lead the way, youngin. All right, Iggy. Scope ahead, but not too far from me. I realize I didn't tell you where to go. Um, so I know where to go. The... the stairs are right down the hall. My parents are you have a Pokemon buried type? here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be sure to visit them uh, if you'd like. I don't know if I can. Um, you send <laughs> Iggy off on uh, on his own, and you and Iggy immediately doo -doo 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 disappears towards. Because uh, just to give you guys a little a little look as to what the tower actually looks like, where there is the like uh, there are like four like walkways that kind of make a crosshatch uh, divider of the bottom floor itself, where three of the corners of the room are taken up by these like large square tables with purple couches around them, these lounges for people to like sit and rest after having done you know one of the saddest things they'll ever do which is inter their pokemon um with the fourth corner of the room being taken up by the uh by the l-shaped desk that the two of you occupy um the bathrooms are down here on the first floor um they are off to one side as so the cross ends at bathroom supply closet entranceway staircase heading up the side of the the tower that leads you direct there and those of you who work here would also know that every other single floor is a single room floor. So the only like extra rooms, like the bathroom and the supply closet, are down here on the first floor. Um, but you see Iggy, Jotian, up the stairs, uh, and immediately uh, start headed up there. Um, right. As Jotian uh, heads up the stairs, can each of you please give me a spot hidden check very quickly? So what that how that's gonna work is on your sheet, you should see the spot hidden okay. score, and next to it there should be uh, one of I think two different uh, stats that you can roll to roll that check. I think spot it, hidden specifically is intelligence. Is it specifically intelligence? 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you roll your intelligence die, and if you roll its highest possible value, you roll it again. Uh, I got a ten. I rolled an eight plus two. Eight plus two. Oh well, you're a you're a three badge trainer should be adding you should also be adding your three badges oh, to that as well so so then 13 13 uh i didn't quite hear that is it though. adding the uh do you add your badges on top of the bonus etc on top uh, of any bonus 18, that you put your skills yeah. in yeah okay uh 13 okay so all of you would notice that once iggy starts to head up the stairs you immediately feel the temperature in the room drop about 10 degrees um and in that moment, the two of you who work with ghost types quite often would be familiar that there's some interference of a ghost type Pokemon happening. Um, and all of the electricity in the room, the lights that kept everything lit, phoom, disappears. Ooh. Everything goes Iggy, dark. Iggy, dear. Iggy, oh, um, Clover, I'm so sorry, but, but um, uh, Iggy uh, ran up really quick and I don't, I don't want, um, I, I don't want that one of the ghosts be startled, because if a ghost gets startled, then they're going to lash out. Could you call your halt. Pokemon back? <laughs> Iggy, come back. Um, uh, you, you hear the call for Iggy. And Iggy, at this point, has made it up to the second floor, but as you call, Iggy will, will stick um, the head back down the staircase uh, and hear, Jotia! From the top. Come on down, pal. Oh, no, they can, okay. they can go up. They just... Uh, <laughs> They seem very excited, and, and their scent isn't known yet to the ghosts. So if a scent that the ghosts don't know is running around, they'll get very scared. I just wanted to let you know. Also, 
you read my blog? That's a good point. <laughs> I, yes, I I am a big oh. fan. You, you're Asher, like excited. Your work to... on Wednesday lunch really has me smitten. Uh, Asher, Asher very excitedly like runs back and hides back behind Troubadour. Uh, I will say you are all doing this still in almost pure darkness because there are no windows oh, yeah. in, the, in the tower. Um, the only light currently is coming from where the front door uh, in the evening hours is still slightly open. Well, uh, and we work here professionally. Surely yeah. we have three crank <laughs> flashlights. Three <Yeah>. crank flashlights? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely crank flashlights. God damn, I'm so mad that I told I, uh, you guys about that. <laughs> I have gonna, my normal yeah. flashlight. <laughs> I'm going to stomp my, uh, my, my walking stick down twice. And you're going to see a little handle pop out from the side. <laughs> yeah. And crank it. Ah, <laughs> crank and like like Gandalf's cane. A little you flashlight you. in my cane. Uh, prepare your flashlights. The rest of the light in the room is going to disappear as the front door doof, closes shut. Um, and as you all very quickly look that direction, um, Quover, the inscription that you noted on your way in, you actually see on the archway going out, contains the same inscription. But at this point, it begins to glow. Bright purple, pulsating color. And it goes in order of reading. Become the spirits of Pokemon may their souls rest easy begins to glow and you can feel that the wind in the room pick up slightly beginning to to lift the edges of your clothing can i can i make like an education roll to see if this this strikes familiar at all um go ahead and yeah you go ahead and roll your education die the other two you will not need to roll for this one because you guys work here seven Okay, a seven is fine. Seven is actually pretty good on most rolls. Um, as you you think about it for a moment, um, the tower, the Pokemon Tower, is in itself haunted by ghost Pokemon. That is very widely known. Um, and though the two of you that didn't have to roll as well would know that these Pokemon have been irate recently. Um, and something is causing them to kind of take control at the moment and say, all right, you're going to go up there. This seems to be a you're not leaving until you figure this out kind of gesture from the ghost Pokemon. As the doors are shut. We should have told them we needed to get lunch first, but it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll handle this. <laughs> I think Troubadour has some. Muck oh, do kinda, you? Kind of goes, Bleh. and you see just the remnants of a poisoned, rotting sandwich appear out of the mouth. And be offered to you. <laughs> you take it, but yeah. immediate, immediately take a minor. <laughs> yeah. um, grab some uh, some petra berries I got on my desk. And, and you immediately start cure the poison. those down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you take the sandwich. It's almost like a chaser where you bite mm -hmm. into the sandwich and then eat the petra berry, which the petra berry is like a stone fruit. It's like a big fruit. So you have to like bite around the pit. Um, but uh, yeah, you immediately get that. And the the wind seems to kind of die down, and the temperature on the first floor returns to normal. All right. So, um, uh, did we check? We should check the other rooms here first before we head upstairs, just in case. There's any? Are there any other points of entry that we didn't look at? Uh, the front door is the only entrance to the tower. Yeah, but Pokemon can no dig. Uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> check the other rooms just to see if there's like a. Okay. Uh, glancing through the the bathrooms real quick, um, you find nothing in the four to ceiling stalls. It is it, it is pretty empty. It's actually you have your flashlight, but it feels almost darker in there. Um, looking through the supply closet, you would actually note that there are a couple things missing from your supply closet. A couple of your backup flashlights are uh, missing. Uh, you would notice that as well your pesticide sprayer, the little like backpack thing that you keep for the gardens around is missing. Um, and I'm trying to remember if there's... Oh, and the wood chipper is missing. Um, Asher, you a Troubadour didn't borrow the wood chipper, pesticide sprayer, or extra flashlights. We did, but we definitely brought them back. Troubadour, did you take them? Mo Troubadour says that they didn't. Okay, uh, cuz they're they're not here. Shakes their head in the in the negative. So we got more stuff to add to the list. Mm. Jiltia. I'm, 
Worried about the wood chipper. Why? What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> what's up with that? <laughs> um, you see that at this point, uh, Iggy the Jolteon is still impatiently standing at the top of the stairs as uh, Iggy was called back, but uh, still waiting for orders. Iggy, do you see anything up there? Hey, Jolteon. Jolteon. Shakes head. Is it a wood chipper? Is there a wood chipper? Jol, 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 Jolteon. Hmm. Anything strange, peculiar? Jolteon. All right, I'm gonna. He starts <laughs> shuffling okay. up the stairs. You Let's start go. shuffling up the stairs, and stairs are not the friendliest to to the plus sized individuals. I uh, <gasps> <you> should <gasps> <to> go. <laughs> Luckily, you don't skip leg day because you know you got the fucking you got the calves. Uh, it's full muscle. But uh, you start to like the stairs. most big men do. <laughs> the caretakers. Did the two of you also uh, head up? Yes, uh, after you, Asher, I'll take okay. the longest. Um, I'll take the longest. <laughs> okay, as you start to head up, um, each of you with your companion Pokemon, um, I'm going to say at this point, unless stated otherwise, the Pokemon are going to take a defensive position in front of each of you as you start heading up. So um, if Clover is heading up first, that means Iggy is going to be about a step in front of Clover. Um, then we have... Uh, then uh, who's next in the order? Troubadour, Asher. Uh, Troubadour would be next in the order. Yeah, Asher would be would be would be following because we have Mr. Fuji Jr. going last. Uh, with Doctor Bones directly in front of him. Um, I think I'm gonna have I'm gonna go in front and uh, as I Dr. go Bones up trail. each step. Yeah, Doctor Bones is gonna help me push up each step. It's gonna be the thing where Doctor Bones uh, almost <laughs> yeah. using the the bone like a like a broom handle just like pushes <laughs> on like your leg to like push there we you go. up. All right, left uh, leg now. Marowak, Marowak. And right and left. <laughs> and right. right and left. Marowak, Marowak. Um, eventually you guys <laughs> get up the first set of stairs. Um, and Clover, as you reach the top, it kind of gives you pause. Because remember, you're still in complete darkness mm -hmm. other than your flashlight. Yep. Um. And as you kind of shine your flashlight forward, you can see what Iggy was saying when Iggy had um, gestured in the inf in the affirmative that something was weird was going on. As you mm -hmm. see the kind of like haphazard rows of graves and shrines that are up here. Um, you've been here once before when your parents' Pokemon were interred. Um, and you remember the routes being a little confusing to try and get around the, the floors. It wasn't the best planned. You definitely don't remember the shrines moving. As you stand for any few moments, you see the, the small graves and shrines will shift a few feet to the left and a few feet forward, then to the right, then back to the left, and will be continue to move and, and, and change where they are. Strange. Have you uh, two seen this before? Hold on. Quarter boy there. <laughs> Marowak. Marowak. Uh, All right, seems... I'm here. Uh, things are moving. Why is that? What? I don't know. This is your tower, but I suppose that's why you... I understand now. Got it. Um, okay. These are just... These are Stop Pokemon, moving are stuff. <laughs> I'm going to yell to the ghost Pokemon. Quit it! Uh, go ahead and roll me a charm check. Uh, can this be part yeah, poke handling? <laughs> I will allow this to be a poke handling charm check. Yes. Cool. Oh, that's not a charm. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Um, so that's uh ten. Ten. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, eleven. I forgot. It's not two. It's three. With a ten, as you kind of yell that out in your 11. old man voice. Uh, it, with an 11, as you yell that out with your old man voice, um, there is a momentary pausing of the shifting of the room before it continues. Um, has uh, anything <laughs> has anything been stolen from this room previously? Not right now. From this room? Um, nothing that you can think of off the top of your head from this room. Most of the things that have been left were up on the upper floors. They're they're things that you're used to passing when you do your patrols. That's why they were noticed when you were gone. When they were gone, uh, I will tell you that the lower floors are the more recent graves. So the higher you go, the older mm. the graves are. 
Um, and in this room, nothing seems to have been stolen. But what I will say, given that you're a researcher, um, Asher, go ahead and real quick, I'm going to have you roll a... Hmm, I'm going to have you roll a geography check for me real quick. Because geography is not just like world geography, but it's also like the geography of the areas around you. Um, kind of keeping in mind knowledge of locations, routes, things like that. Eight. What was that? You rolled an eight. So with an eight, you would note that the kind of shifting maze of shrines that exist seems to be most, the most movement and the most shifting seems to be happening on the far side of the room near the stairs that would lead up to the next floor. Which, that seems odd to you that it'd be more concentrated in one side than the other. There might be something to that, that the other side is where it's a more difficult maze than this side. Um, Troubadour, do you think that they are forming like a defensive position? Or do you think that they are doing more of a, uh, like a defensive position as if, we don't want you going up the stairs? Or do you think that they are riled in like a, we have something stolen from our graves. You see that Troubadour kind of looks over and with its like gelatinous mass starts to kind of crawl one of the walls a little bit and it starts to <laughs> up the side of the wall to like get a better angle. And it looks down at you and goes, Mo. Mo. like defensive position, but from the other side not from your side. They're defending against something that's on the other side of so the stairs. is it, uh, would I get They're the They're keeping something else upstairs versus keeping you downstairs. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Troubadour has an idea. Uh, Troubadour thinks that they are trying to keep something upstairs, trying to keep it locked away. Maybe something angry, maybe something bad. Oh, maybe they've trapped it? Maybe they've trapped it? Maybe they're just trying to defend. If we ask politely and then, hey, we're going to try and solve the situation, maybe we can just walk past. That's a great idea. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. Also, um, Mr. Mister Fuji Jr., I have a question. Was your father named Mr.? And that's why you're Mr. Fuji Jr.? Or was your father named Mr. Fuji? His name was Mr. Fuji. I'm just like Mr. also named Mr. Fuji. Like your yeah. So okay. So your birth. So you are Mr. Mr. Fuji. No, it. His name is is Fuji. Ah, I understand now. So first name thing. Okay. Okay. I get first it. Name I get is it. The, yep. That would Mr. be funny Fuji. though. Yeah. If I was. Mr. Well, that's that's what I was wondering. <laughs> I just realized I've worked here for a little bit you've and I've never actually. Few, you've been a few months, and I yeah. feel like we, that was. It's on my desk. You're right next to me every day. <laughs> I know. I just never. I just never. I just never asked. I just thought I might as well. Uh, uh, Cl uh, Clover, this is the back and forth we have. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's very, it's very it's fun. It's great. Fun. It's uh, super great. Um, all right, uh, we are moving upstairs. I'm yelling that. <laughs> it's the the end of the sentence. <laughs> it sounded like there was more coming. <laughs> um, uh, you shout out. We are moving upstairs, um, and as you do so. Um, you see that the, the, the shrines nearest you stop moving for a moment, though the ones on the far side are continuing to, to shift and move with you having notified whatever the ghost type Pokemon is that's causing this like illusionary maze to exist. It seems like it can only help you so much without getting rid of the whole illusion. So you're still going to need to navigate it to get to the other side, unless you have a way to go completely around it. Uh, um, um, let's see. Um, hmm. I was like, get up to where the thing's moving and kind of like shuffle to the left and then shuffle to the right. <laughs> uh, hmm. <sighs> well, do you guys have any ideas? I'm kind of out of them at the moment. I was just going to ask. Thought I did that. Doesn't seem to work. Uh, that is what only, just happened, yeah. Only going so far. Um, if I think if they take everything down, it's going to ruin what they have set up currently. Mm. It's like fully uh, unlocking a whole you, gate uh, instead of just hopping over it. 
the asking has already lowered the difficulty of moving through the maze. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. <laughs> He's going to walk. While this is happening, Clover will repeat the words on the, the stone outside. Oh, like a password almost? Uh, yeah. So smart. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, Resquietra and uh, Pache. As you, you sp- type B. As you speak that <laughs> out, um, I'll give you extra points right now if you remember what the words were. I'll give you extra points Does right now. Does it count if we wrote hey, them down? <laughs> If you wrote them down, it counts. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. I guess right here. Um, uh, be calm, the spirits of Pokemon, and may their souls rest easy. Everybody take a friendship. I'm going to give you guys a friendship for each <laughs> of your Pokemon. Be calm, the spirits of Pokemon, and may their souls lay rest easy. And how does Clover yell that out? <laughs> be calm, the souls of Pokemon, and let their rest be easy. <laughs> As That's you yell Alex out a yell facsimile, it. a similar... A similar uh, statement like, to what is downstairs. Gonna west so easily? Um, <laughs> you can Whittle-y? see that uh, for a moment, one of the Pokemon becomes physical to you, which for Ghost Pokemon is actually quite rare. So uh, for uh, for Asher in this moment, you've seen a couple of Ghastly over the course of your stay mm. in the in the tower, but not a lot physically in their form. And you see for a moment that uh, this vaporous purple form. <sighs> Kind of roll? comes into existence. Uh, roll for what? My eye, my collector's eye. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and roll for your collector's eye, dude. You never know. It's a, um, it's a D100. So, it's a it's a 11. Yeah, I'm just rolling a D10 and seeing if I get a uh, anything higher than a thing, right? Or do you need me to roll the specifics of that? Uh, well, it's it's an 11 out of 100, so you got to roll a D100. Okay, I'll just do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I rolled an 11. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Wait, wait, wait that, that, that means, means it looks different. different. Yeah, so that means there's a bright blue ghastly floating above all of the shrines and tombstones that are kind of still shifting uh in the room that you're in. Oh uh, well uh, Asher immediately is like Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's that's shinies are a canon thing in the world, right? Shinies, shinies are, are a canon thing that exists in the anime and manga and the world of unbeatable. It's itself. just like wild that we've come across a shiny that was it's in our crazy tower. normally you have to get one from a breeder because they're so rare in the wild looks like we found usually a you have to friend. get one are you so here to help us help us I... <sighs> talk to the ghastly um it starts to to drift over over the uh tombstones and you hear like a light like <laughs> <laughs> cackling from it um, the only person I, the only two people, so to clarify with it, making this like awful bone chilling laugh, I think the two people who work in the tower are familiar enough with ghost types to know that that's just something that ghastly do. It doesn't necessarily <laughs> have to have uh bad motives coming at you. However, can I go ahead like and a yes get to me. a fortitude check? From uh, from Clover, please, as a hey. person who's not familiar with ghost types. Yo, fortitude is my my, my D twenty, dog. Your D twenty, bro. Yeah, dude. You're gonna destroy. <laughs> I rolled a four on the dice. Hey, let's go. Um, <laughs> wait, let's let's go. Go. you got three yeah. badges. You might hit a seven. Sevens are good. So yeah, I got I got I got I got a seven. Okay, seven is still pretty good. Um, you are not as unnerved as you could have been by the last okay. ghastly. Okay. So I'm not super comfy, but things have been worse. Jiltia. It's okay, Iggy. I know you're scared. Mm. Jiltia. Oh, Good man. He doesn't mean us any <laughs> harm. Uh, right? Is, is this right, uh, friend? Ghastly. Yeah. You want to help us? Uh, we could use uh, assistance. Ghastly. Mm. And it just like turns and starts to drift backwards uh, towards an opening between two of the small shrines. Uh, hey, we're talking! Side. I'm going to have Mr. Bones block him. <laughs> Start a battle. <laughs> <laughs> we can try and uh, catch him real quick. <laughs> you rude do you, little do you shit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, That's rude. as Mr. Bones goes up, uh, what, what kind of bonk are you doing? Uh, we're going to do a... Um... Oh wait! I just realized I can't. It's a headbutt's a normal attack. Um, <laughs> that's uh, why. That's yeah. why I was asking. Uh, fuck, uh, I guess. Uh, boomerang, bone meringue, bone meringue. Just throw a stick at him. <laughs> like, hey, we're talking. I see, 
throws the stick. <laughs> Ghastly doesn't even notice as it's a ground type move and ghosts are, uh, th this ghost has levitate, so it's completely immune to ground type move. Oh, <laughs> dang. So at least notice those stick hitting the wall and then coming back. Uh, it, 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 like, you see, like, it notices the stick, like, go, like, through it and starts to go around and goes, Alexa, enter do not disturb mode. Who's that <laughs> Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> it's being a it does see the, the bone ring kind of, like, go through it and, like, spin, and it just looks and it's like, ghastly, as it looks back at you. That's not like, hell. That's not the direction the of fuck, help. bro? Ghastly. It very, being very obvious, it's trying to guide you. Oh. Ghastly. Yeah. Use your words. <laughs> <laughs> We got a joke story. Maybe already. maybe I'm a little bit more unsettled than I initially let on. Ooh, yes. Right. No. Drop job, everyone. Uh, Follow. It's like vapor's form starts to turn. If you do want to attack it and try and catch it, it's very open for you. You just can't use a normal or a ground type move to try and hit it. You know what? I'm just gonna try and throw a Pokeball. <laughs> just see if that works. Yeah, Asher is fully like walking around like it's a shiny, oh my god, I can't believe it's a shiny, and no one is paying attention to the fact that there is a shiny Pokemon just right here in front of us. I have waited my whole life for a six. I'm like this, and then everyone's just kind of ignoring it, and it's like, am I being gaslit? Is it not actually a shiny? Yeah. It's gaslit. It's just... Not gaslit. It's, yeah, it's not gaslit. Yeah, no. Uh, and you work uh, here? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so fucking oh, sniping no. each other today, Jesus. Asher, I have a berry oh. for that bird if you need it. All right, you said you want to throw a <laughs> Pokeball at it. Uh, do you just, you have a normal ass Pokeball? Uh, I have a Great Ball. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, throw a Great Ball. I believe that's got a catch rate of It'll two, match right? It, yeah. <laughs> okay, so with that, this Pokemon has no ma major wounds, so it's got a plus two to its modifier. Um, so I believe the only difficulty, the difficulty is going to be 12 plus the Pokemon's rank. This is a rank two Ghastly. So it's going to be a difficulty of 14, and you're going to roll a D20 plus two, which is the catch rate of the, of the Great Ball. Cool. Roll me D20 plus two. You're trying to beat a 14. I realize I don't roll well. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to use my <laughs> bone dice. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Oh. I'm for sending your, you for, kisses. For your little guy. All the kisses. I'll take a picture. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. No, you did not. No, you did not. Yes! Send that to the group chat. Send that to the group chat. Are you going to explode on your freaking uh, catch yeah, roll? Yeah, uh, so I rolled a natural As point. he should. Uh, yes! And then let's a, fucking uh, go here. Six, so 28. Wow. Oh, let's fucking go. Widowie, I'm goaded with the sauce. Widowie, you, you <laughs> double the catch rate. he's gwiddying on that shiny. <laughs> I love that no one who watches the show will have any context for what the fuck that is. God damn. Oh, Widowie? Um, yeah. Fuck, okay. Uh, what does it look like as Mr. Mr. Fuji Jr. throws the throws the Pokeball? Uh, so I'm going to uh, kind of hit my, my staff down, and the top of it's going to, like, open up uh, and just shoot out a great ball. It's going to go like... <laughs> Reloaded. Yeah, it's just like, like a, a spring like loaded, a, like a lacrosse throw. Not even like, that. It's like I smack it down, and me hitting the bottom of the staff shoots the the pokeball out when it opens up at the top, uh, and okay. then we'll, we'll catch it. Uh, it's like just for formalities, you understand. And then <laughs> you say that as the ball yeah. goes rolling, and you guys see where the bone meringue didn't make contact, and the headbutt would have never made contact. Uh, it seems like as the as the great ball approaches the the vaporous body of this like shiny blue. Uh, fine. Please continue. It's know, just for you. me. Don't thank worry you. about Sorry. it. Do it right now. Uh, do the take right now while Aaron's do, talking. Do it right now. As we're sitting here. As we're sitting. We'll make here, it work. Right we'll now. make it work. <laughs> Am I actually gonna do it right now? Five, I will. Six, yeah, seven, right now. Eight. I'm waiting for you. Do it. Wait. Yeah. That means it looks different. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is gonna be a great um, episode. As you, <laughs> dude. I have to edit this episode. This episode's gonna be wild. <laughs> um. As you as you launch the great ball out of your little staff, and it goes woo, 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 where uh, it like the moves would have never made contact. As the ball opens up and sends out that like beam of energy, it makes contact with the bright blue form of Ghastly and like overlays the red light onto its like blue light, making this like brilliant purple like flash of light. Then it disappears, and the ball across the ground, uh, and it starts to drift into. The maze. You know, for a second, it almost looked normal with the red light on there. That's kind of weird. Okay, uh, all right. Go, so it is a shiny. Everyone's acknowledging that it is. Okay, good. Yeah, that was that was a shiny. It, for sure. it was it was a shiny. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's right, amazing. Guys. I've never seen one of those before. Join the team, and I'll just bring him out. 
Uh, you gotta go get the ball first, bud. Oh, As uh, I just mentioned, I it just rolled into the maze that you tossed it into. Dr. Bones! Oh, uh, Dr. Bones? Dr. Bones is gonna go, Mero, Mero. You know my back is and not in how it used to be. I can't do all this work. Mero, Marowak, Marowak. Uh, and Dr. Bones is gonna, gonna walk off, um, into the maze. I now get to roll to see how well Marowak is going to navigate the maze. Uh, given that, His that it's mine's had, that it's a machine entrance. made of bone and dirt. Made of bone and dirt. Luckily, Marowak's pretty good. Dr. Bones explodes on his first roll. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, so many explosions. Easily though. enough, uh, Dr. Bones walks into the maze, and you see that actually as uh, he walks in, one of the like shrines phases in his way, but he just seems to be like task-focused and walks directly through it. Um, walks through, and then a few moments later, he pops back out of that same shrine, uh, carrying the great ball, and brings it up to you and goes, Marowak, and you. hands you the ball. And I'll just release uh, and bring him out. Uh, the ghastly. You release the ball, and the, there's a there's a bright flash of light, and you don't see any Pokemon appear, and you hear, ghastly. I told you it was for formalities, just so that you could help um, us. Your gas Pokemon at this point is currently invisible around you somewhere. I'm just gonna walk into where I think it would be. <laughs> you do. Where are you, <laughs> where are you at? Let me a fortitude check real quick. Uh, when the, the, the fortitude, my fortitude's super high, right? It's not good. Um, not good. Uh, five plus about eight. Eight is pretty good. Okay, you're not gonna be poisoned as you do enter the space that your invisible shiny ghastly uh is currently like occupying. <laughs> Does but you anyone feel like him? the burning in your lungs? Uh. But after a moment, it kind of reconvalesces in front of you, and it looks less than impressed. <laughs> oh, ghastly. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, uh, continue leading the way. <laughs> and it like it like sticks out a giant tongue at you, just like blowing oh. raspberries. You too. Go. Move. <laughs> we got time. To, we, we're burning daylight, and we're inside, so I can't tell if that's accurate or not. Um, It turns and drifts further into the maze. Um... What about the other two of you? What are you guys doing at this point in time? Uh, I, I mean, I think Asher is wide-eyed puppy dog in at, at the at the at the shiny, um, but that's it. Okay, and then Clover. Yeah, I think Clover is just sort of looking back and forth between where the ghastly appeared and where it's headed to see if there's any indication of any sort of uh, additional movement or other presences that should make themselves known. Okay, that's good to know. That's that's actually really good to know. Um, as you all enter uh, the maze, it begins to shift and move around you, and the difficulty has been significantly lowered between the ghost Pokemon causing it, attempting to help you, and having the guide of a ghastly. However, I'm going to need all of you, um, each of you, sorry, to choose a tracking or a spot hidden check, uh, and I'm going to need you to roll that. We're going to add all those together for a cumulative roll. I'll do spot hidden. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, spot hidden I will, too. I will do spot hidden, and then uh, this is in uh, int die. Yep. I got it. And remember, if you roll six. the highest value on your die, it will explode, meaning you get to roll it again. Ooh, that's almost so. And then plus our badges. Always then, plus your badges. Yeah. So thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Nine for me. Nine. So that's twenty-two. Okay. Uh, that's a 22 as well. Okay. Easily between the three of you, you make heavy progress uh, going through the maze. You guys start to realize the trick to following Ghastly is Ghastly will regularly just phase through something. And that's not because Ghastly is incorporeal, but it's because the shrine that Ghastly is walking through is completely incorporeal. Ah, very good. Okay. Um, But Clover, you specifically were keeping your eye out for other Pokemon, yes. correct? Um, any other, yeah, any other Pokemon or presences that would make themselves known at this time? You don't see a Pokemon at this moment, but as you're traversing the maze, you hear very faintly in the distance, <laughs> crying noise in the distance. Not towards the end of the maze where you're headed, but somewhere here in the maze itself. I know a sad Cubone when I hear one. 
He's going to move, and he's going to make a Pokemon handling. Okay. Check okay. If, if if I can appease your professor, uh, your professor kindness. My professorial ways, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I, go I ahead and roll a poke handling check. Poke yeah, handling I want to do a poke handling check, and I want to try and mimic the noise of a of a Marowak. Okay. See if okay. I can you, see if I can be my You also have you know what I'm gonna give you an advantage to this, which is an additional D4, because okay. you've been hanging out with Dr. Bones yeah. for the last like twenty minutes. Love uh that. And you got a lot of Marowak examples. Okay. You're basically Ooh. doing your best bird calls, but for Mar for Cubones and Marowaks right now. Just crying. <laughs> Just crying. Just crying. <laughs> Eight. Eighteen. <laughs> Uh, 18. Yeah, that's really, really good. As you, um, as you stop for a moment and start to do your best Marowak impression, and Alec, I'm gonna need you to give me your best Marowak impression. He looks at Mr. Bones. <laughs> and he looks at Mr. Fuji Jr. <laughs> What's that, Bones? <laughs> Marowak. <laughs> good. Marowak. Mr. Bones looks upset, confused, and defended. All of them. I'm There's so a slight bit of seduction in that. That was in yeah. That I like it. Uh, it is more than enough, though. However, to appease the the crying that you hear in the distance, and it would take the other two of you uh, in this moment, just kind of being confused, hearing mm -hmm. like what uh, Clover has started doing, to realize that Clover has heard something that the other two of you have not in this moment. Um. But as Clover starts to make these Marowak noises, you can hear in the distance the crying stop, Clover, and then the rest of you can all hear, Cubone, Q, Cubone, uh, in the distance, like calling out for whoever the Marowak is. Well, fuck it, bad for this Cubone. Uh, you're getting whisk catched right now. We got four more. Um, yeah. Am I am I able to see it yet? At the moment, no. You're going to have to try and navigate towards it or navigate out of the maze. Um, I will say, if you try and move towards it, that is going to negate the progress you've made thus far in the maze. Damn. So you can either choose to go back and lose one step of progress, which you need three to get through the maze, or mm. you can ignore it and keep going. I, I think I think, and the, the, the creatures that live in, 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 the, in the tower are, have gone through so much that I think that Helping every little Pokemon will help us more in the future than I was just gonna either. say I don't wanna leave I don't wanna leave I don't wanna leave him alone. Jeldeon, Jeldeon, Jeldeon. Okay. Alright, Iggy, let's go. And he'll he'll just sort of Pat Pat <laughs> Coral, I forgot your character's name. <laughs> uh Asha. Asher, that's the top it. and he'll just pat yeah. And and Clover will just pat um Asher, he'll just pat them on the shoulder and say Thank you. I know I read your your peach hand post for a reason. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, it blushes like a full face turns red uh, and gets very giddy. <laughs> and then behind and, uh, and yeah, okay. Clover will then go toward the uh, cell. They will, they will adhere to that uh, subtraction of progress. Uh, Mr. Mr. Fuji Jr., uh, you notice that the two of your compatriots are moving deeper into the maze. Um, you have the choice to go with them or to try and get out on your own. Yes, I'll follow them. Those are the fine okay. makings of being a tower employee. If yeah, they, I um, think Asha would wait for Mr. Fuji Jr. as well. Uh, okay. Yes, and I'll, I'll wave my cane an old at man my, um, haunted house. Uh, <laughs> at the gas and be like, hey, we're turning back. Yes, like it doesn't have arms, but you can see the the waves of smoke around oh, it, like shrugging. Don't back. We're friends ghastly. now. Ghastly, ghastly, <laughs> uh, ghastly, and like just trail behind you. Uh, I don't know why when I say ghastly, I'm channeling Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I don't know why that's <laughs> what I'm channeling. Um, Every time we look at this shiny <laughs> ghastly, there is something blocking it perfectly. Every time. <laughs> Uh, but as you you uh, head off in that direction, I'm not going to require a roll to navigate to uh, the Cubone as you have already done rolls to like hear it out and help navigate it. Um, but as you move back, you find that in a little alcove between two shrines, there is um, this like very small Cubone. Like this is like a young specimen of a Cubone. Um, uh, very sad, very lost. 
Cubone! And like, it sees you guys, um, but it doesn't register that you are the ones calling out. It's looking for a Marowak. If anything, it looks a little scared that you guys are all approaching. Uh, uh, yeah. I think Clover uh, will just get low to the ground. If Bob, Sorry, Matt, go for no, it. No, you do that. That's, yes, you do that. He'll just get low and just sort of begin the call again, but this time just be like, Marowak. <laughs> like in his own voice to try and like okay. appeal and he'll slowly transition to the voice he did uh, okay. just to see if, if there is some sort of recognition. And like, he's got nothing this in his hands. He's just being very slow and gentle. This is all within your ability enough to where I am not going to require a roll on that. Okay. Um, as you as you do this, uh, you can see the, the little cube on like you, you bone, you you bone, and it it sees you, and it looks very confused. But there is like that hint of recognition of like, oh, this person was the one who was calling out back for me. Um, and I think it would seem very trepidatious until, however, um, Mister Mister Fuji Junior, um, Doctor Bones is going to walk out in front of you and seeing that you are traveling with a Marowak, especially an older Marowak, mm -hmm. Cubone will hop down off the little pedestal. Like, Cubone, 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 Cubone. And it's like, it's just like waddling on its two little legs. It doesn't even have like the stick to hit things with the bone stick. It only has the little, the little bone helmet. Um, and as it, it runs up, it goes, Cubone, Cubone. And like, looks up at all of you guys. Like I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at. Does it it's look scary, Chief? Does it look hurt? It, it doesn't look hurt at all. It looks like it's in perfect health, just shooken up and scared and alone. Um uh, even so Asha like uh is like like looks it over once, um, just to make sure that there's no like little scrape. Like, oh my god, hello little beautiful one. It's okay, you're safe here. Cubone. bone. Cube bone. Yes. Yeah. Very um, obvious. It's looking very for whoever scary. the there's rest of, of. There's lots of um, there, there's lots of ghosts, and things are going quite awry. And I'm so sorry that you got separated from everyone, but I'm sure that we can help. Ugh, uh, uh, kind of gestures toward Clover. Um, since Clover was the one uh, speaking, and also Junior, um, has the Marowak. If you if if you if you would like to try and uh, get someone to help them, we can definitely try. Uh, Cubone, Cubone, are you hungry? Cubone, oh, right. <laughs> use my stick and and um uh poke at Mr. Bones and be like, do the thing. Uh, and uh, Mr. <laughs> Bones is going to uh take part of his uh larger bone staff and kind of splinter off a piece of it, so it's like a tinier piece of of um uh, of a bone. Uh, and he's going to stick a, uh, a Petra Berry on there and give that to the Q-Bone so it has its own little bone That's and a meal. That's so fucking cute. Yeah, uh, as it hands over that shard of bone, you see it takes it. It's almost like a lollipop where it takes like the fruit on the end and just starts to like... Um, 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 <laughs> off the edge of the stick. It's really fucking cute. <laughs> no, I'm going to nudge um, Mr. Bones and be like, reminds me of you when you were younger. He just goes, Marowak. And seems like genuinely satisfied for the first time this evening. Mm. Uh, he's been grumbly and upset all afternoon, but uh, Mr. Bones looks genuinely happy at what you guys have done here. Uh, so do you guys at this point, now that you've gathered Cubone, is anyone carrying Cubone or is Cubone just walking? I will carry Cubone if they allow it. Okay, yeah. As as Cubone's there, Clover, and you reach down, Cubone looks a bit trepidatious, but just like goes back to attacking the Petra Berry on the end of the thing. Cause it's like a big, like stone fruit. Like it's a, it's a huge thing compared mm -hmm. to the tiny little cube bone. Mm. It's going to take him a second to get through it. Um, yeah. And you can kind of like pick him up and you feel kind of like the softer, like, like fur, uh, that's kind of like very, um, sparse along the, like the, like kind of nicer, smoothie, le smoother, leathery skin. Yeah. Um, you can pick him up. Definitely needs like a bath. Definitely a little stinky. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the charm of, like, a tiny, cute animal. You know how, like, puppies all smell bad, but, like, they're still cute? Um, mm -hmm. and, and you can pick up the Q-Bone. Um, and the three of you start to navigate towards the exit? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have given up some progress to come back and get Q-Bone. However, uh, we are still going to need you guys to do your choice of tracking or spot hidden. We're going to need three successes to get out of the maze. Every time we spot fail, something else will happen. And then do, and that is int... Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. Spot hidden. Oh, my. Oh, nice. Gosh. 
I okay. rolled I exploded. So dreadfully. Both mats, what did you guys roll? A nine again. Nine? Okay. Um, I got a uh, 23. No, wait. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Yeah, 23. Can I swear God. on this Pokemon show? Yeah. No, wait, no. Okay. Yeah, 20. I'm <laughs> tripping. No, 20, 24. I'm stupid. I can't count, guys. Oh, oh my God. Still. So he's going exploded. Okay. I got Alex? 15, though. Okay. And that's exploding. Easily, you guys <laughs> make back up the ground the back that you guys... I think yeah. the reason why Asha keeps rolling <laughs> super low is because they are looking at every single shrine to see if anything's missing since they have their things written down. So it's like being check. so distracted. Yeah. And it's just like holding up everyone. Yeah, you, you, you're doing that thing where you're kind of doing inventory on the on the lower shrines to see if anything's been taken. Uh, and at, the, at this point in time, the ones that you're seeing, you recognize and it's like, okay... That's still there. That's still there. Okay, that got left. Um, at one point, as you're walking, um, you do see that on the ground there has been dropped, and you can't tell what shrine it's from, but like a fresh like citrus berry. Um, you're not sure which shrine it was on. It looks like it'd be indiscernible to be able to find out where it came from, so it's just kind of sitting in the middle of the floor at one point. Uh, Mr. Mr. Fuji Jr., what do we do with this? Um, hmm. Uh, I'll go and pick it up uh, and look at it. Um, hmm. can it's I, a little bruised on one side from where it fell. Can I do a uh, a spot hidden or tracking or whatever would be better for this to try and like uh, you know that thing Sherlock does where you like re you mind palace it? mind palace nice. this and be like discombobulate okay and figure out what uh, the roll <laughs> me yeah roll me just a straight intelligence die okay. this is gonna be this is gonna be uh, I'm not gonna give you the the tracking on this one um a little, so a I rolled a much. 17 plus anything or bro your intelligence die is insane I don't know. okay yeah it couldn't uh, be Seth yeah with that no couldn't be your <laughs> couldn't normal be, couldn't be my normal character <laughs> couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be rolling couldn't be like Seth. the nuts but whatever. Uh, but um, as Mr. Mr. Fuji Jr. kind of glances around, uh, just mind palacing, uh, you could pretty easily tell. It's like, oh, this is like two shrines down, one over. It must have gotten kicked at some point, uh, and it belongs over there. Cool. Um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just put it back up there. Okay. On the proper one. Okay. See, well, um, when you notice it fall, it had the bruise on this side, which means it came from this direction and it leads back up to this shrine. Um, so just take note of that for next time if I'm not here. Um, you can, there's also a little bit of a trail of the juice of the uh, of the berry that uh, it's easy to follow, but if not, wow, it's we fine. are two very, very different types of smart. What? As you're like very physical, <laughs> As I, like I turn and conceptualization. look right back into the ghastly again. I'm like, ah, what? Face full of poison. Ghastly. Yeah, <laughs> uh, in that moment, uh, Clover, you're going. Uh, uh, the the cubone does finish uh, its petcha berry, and the the kind of seed kind of drops, and the cubone like offers you the seed, like you cubone. <laughs> Clover's like happily <laughs> take it, and he'll he'll take out just a normal pokeball. It will look. Want to sleep? You cubone. Kind of just open it, let him explore if he wants to. Okay. Um, as you as you kind of pop open, Cubone is gonna like disappear into just red light. Just um, as you open the the Pokeball, uh, go ahead and just straight difficulty ten. Roll me a catch check. So roll me a D twenty plus you used a normal Pokeball, right? Yep. That's gonna be catch rate of one. So just go ahead and roll me. And this is still plus three. Uh, no, this is a catch roll, so these are the only ones that we don't use our badges. That's right. Yeah. Uh, 15 on the die. Woo! Okay, so that's going to be total 16, which is going to pass. So Cubone doesn't make a doesn't make a, a fuss as it just kind of disappears in red light uh, as, you're, as you're carrying it. Not necessarily at this point caught-caught, but like a, this is a place that the Cubone can rest safely. And if yeah, he's, yeah. Cubone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's not 100%. he's not looking to, to take advantage of it. He knows it's tired and weak and just wants to give it a little safe place to recoup. Absolutely. Um, with that, go ahead and everyone, please roll me your next round of spot hit. All right, tracking checks. I'm I'm here for big money. If I roll a nine again, I'm hey, gonna turn. Let me, off let me kiss him. Let me kiss him. Let me kiss him. Kiss it. Mwah. Yes. Mwah. Two kisses. Three kisses. Oh my god! Mwah. Exploded Mwah. again. Delayed fourth. Hey gang, I, that's a nat twenty. Let's I'm go. I'm not lying. <laughs> 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 
So that does mean it all explodes. unbeatable fans. Kiss your dice before you kiss, roll. Oh, kiss them. Get, Let the homies get kiss the dice. Boys to, get some beautiful boys to kiss some dice. Okay. Uh, and Alec them. exploded again. I oh exploded my god. Again. I love oh. the mood changes in these dice. <laughs> or in these images. <laughs> yeah, what is um, dark? Okay, so uh, spot hidden. Fif fif yeah, 50. Picture embodies the full metal 15. alchemist. Full metal alchemist. Full metal full alchemist. Metal alchemist. alchemist. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's that so is, fucking true. That is a 31 I rolled. <laughs> so Krail passes it on there. Like, you, you pass it on your own. Mm. We don't even need the other two rolls. Like, we can hear them if you want. <laughs> but the 30 was the difficulty. This is a 19. 19? Okay. You're really good. Okay, and then Alec, what was yours? 15. Y'all are crushing this. Rookie uh, numbers. <laughs> Yo, we said, fuck your dungeon, dog. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even gonna make you roll the third time. This is this is this is. Uh, with that, you guys will successfully pass through the maze. Um, at this point, you really get the tricks down of moving through the fake shrines, of moving between tombstones. It's just before they pattern recognition. At. Like after really a bit, like Asher is like, down, down, oh, it's right, pattern recognition. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah start you select, and we don't know realize you. Me. Asher, you wrote about this like six months ago in one of your threads. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I did do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I wrote. Who's Pattern threatened? recognition and how it matches with like and how it matches eggs. Yep, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ghosts, ghosts. I gotcha. Love pattern recognition. That's what it is. And yeah. and um, uh, after uh, they pass, they they leave out like clues and hints and 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 traits to uh to who they were in life. And this is exactly what we're dealing with now. <laughs> Matt, As are you, we gonna romance uh, a Pokemon game? <laughs> I, as, Alec, I have not played with you as both players. You know for a fact I'm coming for the kiss. Like, <laughs> dare you expect me to not be doing that? Well, in that moment, seeing you being really excited about this, Troubadour, like, reaches one, like, slime appendage up and goes, Mug, and pats you on the back, like, look, somebody recognizes what you do. Mug. Uh, takes, like, a, like, naturally their <laughs> hand goes to, uh, Troubadour's, um, like grasp and then gives them a like a, a little kiss which is just very slimy and there's just slime and very slimy. up on the lipstick poisonous yeah <laughs> yeah I, I like to think at this point you just have like petcha berry <laughs> lipstick like like, or, like chapstick oh, to like protect God. for every time you get kisses <laughs> <laughs> yeah which is a lot like i'm constantly eating patcha berries all I the time keep it's, kissing uh, it's called a uh, chapstick but chapstick <laughs> that's what it is yes <laughs> um but with that you guys pass through finish passing through the maze and you look behind you even though you have completed the pattern recognition to get through it going the direction you have looking back it looks near impossible the patterns are too chaotic too different mm. um the pokemon that helped you get through will not be able to help you go back through well thank you for helping us regardless do you still wish to continue joining us yeah still and it just like gives you a look of like for now. For now. Mm. All right. Mm. At any time, mm. if you wish to go, just say the word or say your name, I guess. And then, yes, that'll Ghastly. be fine. Ghastly. Ghastly. That I, know, I know that wasn't word. it. I know that wasn't it. It's fine. It's fine. But uh, just, again, take your time. Anyway, uh, these are the stairs. <laughs> We're going Yeah, up. there's the single set of stairs that goes up to the next floor. So, after uh, you all. So... If we go up to the other set of stairs, then the pattern becomes too chaotic, or the pattern is so chaotic so it, right now that it's hard. You have finished going through at this point the maze. If you wanted to try and go back, it is too chaotic to go ah! back. You can only go forward. I understand. That is what I intend. Perfect. To do that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. Asher will. Uh. Asher will like get Troubadour to. I guess wait. I guess they'd both wait because the idea is that Clover is first. Being the like okay. attacker and the and the 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 yeah. the, the, the career trainer of the, of the three. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, Asher okay. Asher is a capable trainer, but is not a trainer. Is like just um, has a Pokemon. Real quick, I forgot to do this earlier. Um, can uh, Dankles, can you please roll me two d sixes and do not add them up. Give me separate ones. If you get sixes, please reroll. First them. one, hiya. Four. <laughs> See it. Nice. Nice. One. Nice. Four and one. Okay. Uh, 100 four, four and one. <laughs> I just, I was rolling, I was rolling the nature for the ghastly. It is a 
naughty guest. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Naughty. It definitely, it definitely Saucy fits with what you've, been, what you've been doing, you nasty little things. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, and I will send you the character sheet for that in just a little bit. Um, but as you walk up the next set of stairs, uh, once again, just to remind you, it is pitch black other than the illumination that you are bringing with Flashlight you. Flashlight cane. Um, Bam. There are there are no windows. Uh, there is currently the electricity is off. Um, the two of you who work here, you are aware that the next floor, the one that you're currently heading up the stairs towards, the third floor, um, not only contains more graves, but also that is where all of the solar panels panels on the outside of the tower connect to the battery mm. that basically rocks all of the electricity in the building. Got it. Mm. Okay. Um, and we but, are. It is pitch black, right? Yeah. If I remember that it correctly. It is pitch black other than your flashlights. Yeah. Uh, so you all begin to start heading up that set of stairs. Thank you for watching this episode of Unbeatable. Support us through our Discord. There we interact with our community and gather questions for our monthly Q&As. See you next time. And remember, stay unbeatable. Train until I meet my goal If stakes are high, no, I won't fall Because I am unbeatable Earning every badge, whatever it takes I'm gonna be the best trainer, you just wait And I know the road ahead looks like it won't be easy I am unbeatable Standing by my side, got my friends with me To explore a whole world of possibilities But no matter what the challenge is We can overcome it together Because we are unbeatable Train until we meet our goal The stakes are high, no we won't fall Because we are unbeatable We are unbeatable We'll train until we meet our goal The stakes are high, no we won't fall Because we are unbeatable